to use IMVU Studio Toolkit to make a static or statue pose, first make sure you are starting your project from a clean scene. So general new file. This just resets everything to the defaults. Don't save. Then in view, click on sidebar. This will open the sidebar where we'll get the iView Studio Toolkit panel. Click on that, and there we have the tools that are available. So for a static pose, we want animation tool. So click on that to expand the options, and then just click the Append Animation File button. This drops in the avatar with a skeleton structure, a rig, and changes the interface. So we've got the timeline below, the main 3D view, and the toolbar options. So what we're looking at is the avatar. It's a female representative of the avatar, but it doesn't matter whether it's female or male because they use the same underlying skeleton or rig. Each one of these shapes is a control for one of the limbs. So if we select and press the G key, we can see how that controls the entire limb. We have knee controls, which change the orientation of the knee, and then foot control for the feet and the legs. So to create a pose, all we need to do is grab and manipulate these into position to pose the avatar. Before we do that, what we want to do is enable auto key. This will drop in a keyframe into the timeline for each bones that are posed relative to the control element. So we'll enable that and then begin to make a simple pose. So click select G to grab, R to rotate, and we can create a very simple pose. So to control the elbow, we select the elbow controls, G, grab, and we can move elbow into position. Rotate. Now we can see in doing that, we've now got keyframes marked to the timeline. So if we want more precision or we want to manipulate in a particular orientation or direction, we can use the widgets. Move and rotate. Don't use scale. So let's twist this around a little bit. Check the elbow. R to rotate, G to grab. So again, all we're doing is selecting the individual control elements and manipulating those relative to the pose that we're trying to create. And that is our pose. Very simple pose. So to export, we don't need to do anything else. We just need to create the pose so that we have our limbs or bones or mesh in the right position and corresponding keyframes marked to the timeline. We can rename this. So click type the action sequence name. Oh no. Enter and then save the file. So file, save as.
toolkit oh no save as and then before we export if we want this pose to override the defaults so the default avatar pose we want this to override everything we need to enable export all bones and as this is a static pose a statue we enable make pose as well so click those two let's just save over that so we've got those options set save and then to export in the export tools we just click on the export button so click that and blender will do the thing that it needs to do and export an fbx so we get a change in the interface as an update or confirmation that the export process has been successful so now we can open the file in studio so in IMV Studio, we want to create a new project. And for this, we're just going to derive from, so we're going to use a PID, derive from the empty move because it's easier to do. So 10,945,930. Enter. There's the empty mood. Select. Then derive. So there's the default avatar. So to import, import button, FBX. So import FBX, find the file, toolkit, oh no, and then just click the open button. We'll get the importer. So it's recognized that we have one skeleton and one animation. Click Setup FBX. Everything here is OK. Next. No materials. There's our animation. It's given us the frame count. Review. Then Import. So that's brought in our FBX. It's converted it to an XAF file. So to create our action, we now need to go into Component actions create an action plus button so we've got the instance so now on the right hand side we need to edit the properties of the action so we'll call this stance dot idle uppercase i it's case sensitive action type avatar create an ensemble and in the asset option, we should have our sequence. And there it is. Animation oh no. So select, set our duration. So it's just one frame. So frame one to frame two, infinite loops. So zero. Replace. Everything else is OK. Click apply. Preview. And there is our pose. Obviously, all we need to do next is save the file and then submit it to the catalog. But that is creating a simple static pose using IMVU Studio Toolkit.